Welcome to the world of Sea of Thieves. Rare's multiplayer pirate adventure is a vast open world filled with danger, mystery, and of course, buried treasure. Whether you're sailing solo or with a crew, this guide aims to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the game's mechanics, strategies, and tips to ensure you embark on a successful and enjoyable pirate journey. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you've just picked up the game on Game Pass or Steam and are either a brand new swabby or still within your first couple hundred hours. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Upon entering the Sea of Thieves, you'll create your pirate. Choose wisely as this decision is permanent unless you pay real money for an appearance changing potion. Remember, your appearance doesn't affect gameplay, so feel free to choose a pirate which you feel is going to best represent your personality. In Sea of Thieves, you can choose between three types of ships. The Nimble Sloop for solo or duo, the Brigantine for crews of three players, and finally, the larger galleon for crews of four. Select a ship that fits your crew size as they are specifically designed to accommodate these player caps. While each ship has its own benefits and drawbacks, they are all designed so that when sailed with the optimal crew, they balance out during naval combat and navigation. Do not be tempted to solo a galleon just because you feel that it looks cooler than a sloop. You will sink. If you have any questions surrounding the vast world of Sea of Thieves, join me over at twitch.tv slash mystique where I stream almost all of the time. New players are always welcome and I'm more than happy to go into detail with anyone answering your questions on the seas. Learn the basics of sailing, raising and lowering sails, adjusting the angles and steering the ship. The wind affects your speed so positioning sails properly is crucial. Experiment with the sail angles to catch the most amount of wind as possible, which you can easily identify by looking at what direction the wind is actually flowing in. Sea of Thieves features a vast open world with various islands, outposts and other other points of interest. Your map is a crucial tool for navigation. If you ever feel lost on the open waters, take a quick journey down to your ship's map. Every ship has one. This will show you where you are as well as the rest of the sea, so you can plot a course at all times. Trading companies offer quests and voyages, providing opportunities to earn gold and reputation. Complete these quests to increase your reputation and unlock more lucrative opportunities. The gold hoarders offer treasure maps leading to varied riches. Dig up chests, discover ancient artifacts, facts and turn them in for gold and reputation. As you gain reputation, more lucrative and challenging voyages will become available. Undertake missions for the Order of Souls to defeat skeletons and claim their skulls. These mystical artifacts can be turned in for rewards and reputation. As your reputation grows, the Order will entrust you with more formidable challenges. For a more trade-focused approach, the Merchant Alliance tasks you with delivering goods, capturing animals and transporting valuable cargo. Completing these missions enhances your reputation and unlocks higher paying ventures. For those drawn to a life of piracy, the Reaper's Bones offer rewards for stealing and delivering other players' loot, engaging in intense PvP encounters, seizing opponents' treasures and establishing yourself as a feared pirate on the seas. Fishing is a relaxing and profitable activity. Use a fishing rod to catch different species, each with its own value. Cook fish to enhance their value and provide health benefits when consumed. Balancing fishing with other activities can add variety to your pirate's life. Outposts are safe havens where you can sell your acquired loot and purchase supplies. Each outpost provides the same essential buildings for players to access throughout their journey. They will contain a tavern where you can sit and relax and enjoy a grog or two, different vanity shops such as the toolsmith, weaponsmith and clothing store, as well as buildings for all of the trading companies. Skeleton forts are dynamic events that occur periodically when a skull-shaped cloud marks their location. This means there's currently an active world event at this location. More on that later. When there isn't an active event, these places can be a great way to stock up supplies throughout your journey. Just bear in mind, the explosive barrels are at your own risk. Choose your ship based on crew size and preferred playstyle. The sloop is agile but less durable. The brigantine is a balanced choice and the galleon is a formidable force with a larger crew but slower maneuverability. Visit the shipwright at outpost to customize your ship's appearance from hulls and sails to figureheads and flags. 
personalize your vessel to stand out on the seas. Cosmetic upgrades don't affect gameplay but add a unique touch to your pirate persona. Pirates have a variety of tools at their disposal, including the cutlass, pistol, blunderbuss, and sniper rifle. Experiment with different weapon combinations to find your preferred playstyle. Don't forget to gather supplies like cannonballs, wooden planks, and plenty of food for emergencies. Gold and reputation are earned through trading companies. Complete quests and deliver loot to gain both. As you level up with the faction and access more challenging and rewarding quests, optimize your routes and prioritize valuable items for maximum efficiency. Voyages are contracts provided by the trading companies. Each faction offers unique quest types. Gold hoarders involve deciphering maps. Merchant Alliance quests focus on trading and delivering goods, while the Order of Souls tasks you with defeating skeleton crews. Mix and match these voyages for variety. In addition to voyages, keep an eye out for emergent events like shipwrecks, skeleton ships, and megalodons. These encounters offer valuable loot and a chance for unexpected alliances or conflicts with other players. Beyond the routine voyages and quests, Sea of Thieves is a living world that hosts dynamic and large-scale events. These events add an extra layer of challenge and excitement to your pirate adventures. Understanding and participating in these events can lead to substantial rewards and intense encounters. Skeleton forts are formidable challenges where waves of skeletons guard a fortress filled with valuable loot. These forts are marked by a distinct skull-shaped cloud visible from a distance. Be cautious as other player crews may also be drawn to the riches, leading to epic battles for control. Fleet battles. Occasionally the sky will darken with ominous clouds signaling the arrival of a skeleton fleet. These events involve multiple waves of skeleton ships that need to be defeated. Rally your crew, load up on supplies and prepare for a fierce naval battle. Success rewards you with a lot of skeleton loot. Ashen Winds events involve a powerful Ashen Lord, formidable enemies that harness the power of fire. These fiery foes roam specific islands wreaking havoc. Engaging in an Ashen Lord battle is a high risk, high reward scenario. Defeating them rewards you with a lot of valuable Ashen loot, including an Ashen Wind Skull. Ghost fleets are also large scale naval battles that pit players against ghostly crews commanding haunted ships. These events are distinct from the skeleton fleet encounters mentioned earlier and offer unique challenges and rewards. The seas are teeming with threats, from hostile skeletons to rival players. Always be vigilant and prepared. Stockpile resources including cannibals for ship combat, wooden planks for repairs, and food for healing. Keep an eye on the horizon for potential threats and adapt your strategy accordingly. Combat in Sea of Thieves includes both PvE, player versus environment, and PvP, player versus player. Master sword play, firearms, and the use of equipment like cannons. Engaging with other players can lead to intense ship battles, so be strategic and use your resources wisely. Sea of Thieves has dynamic weather, including storms that can damage your ship and affect visibility. Adjust your sails and steering during storms to maintain control. Watch for environmental hazards like rocks and shallow waters that can damage or strand your ship. Knowing how to repair your ship is crucial. Keep an eye on the hull for leaks, repair holes promptly, and bail water with a bucket. Repair the mast and wheel as needed. Communication is key in Sea of Thieves. Use in-game voice chat or third-party communication tools to coordinate with your crew. Assign roles, call out threats, and share information. A well-coordinated crew is more likely to succeed in challenging situations. If you're struggling to find like-minded crewmates, feel free to join over 1,400 members in my Discord server who will be able to help you on your journey. Link will be in the description. Combat involves more than just firing cannons and swinging swords. Utilize the environment, employ tactics, and be aware of your surroundings. Boarding an enemy ship can be a game changer, so practice efficient boarding techniques. Mastering both ranged and melee combat is essential for success. Embarking on a pirate's journey in Sea of Thieves is an exhilarating experience filled with challenges, discoveries, and the thrill of the unknown. As you navigate the seas and engage in epic ship battles and uncover hidden treasures, remember that the key to success lies in knowledge, communication, and a touch of pirate savvy. May your sails be forever full and your pockets heavy with plunder as you chart your course through the vast and dynamic world of Sea of Thieves. Fair winds and following seas. Really quick before the video ends, thanks to you, my incredibly awesome community, I've been able to extend my partnership where I've had my very own line of custom gaming PCs for the last year. 
and honestly, thank you. Like, seriously, thank you. It's been a fantasy land I've been living in to be able to work with a brand like this for so long, and on top of that, have my very own purchasable PC. So again, thank you all so much for all of the support which allows me to do this. And I've loved actually hearing some of the amazing experiences from some of the viewers like yourself have had when picking up one of the machines. So please, if you're looking to get a brand new PC to start your journey on Sea of Thieves, click down in the description and make sure to use code Mystique to get some cash off of your order. It really helps support my channel.